On this week's episode, Carrie and I are sharing what podcasts we listen to. And spoiler alert, they're not all Disney related. Stay tuned to hear our recommendations. You're listening to the Pixie Dust Fan Podcast. Hi, I'm Francine. And I'm Carrie. We're two best friends who can't stop talking, usually about Disney stuff. Sometimes we have fascinating guests, and sometimes it's just us. But it's always positive and fun. We're happy to have you join our chat. Thanks for listening, and let's get started. Do you know I sat and thought all day, how am I going to start this podcast <laughs> episode, and I couldn't come up with a good way. So hi, Carrie. Maybe we should just go back to the old, to the old ways. Hello, 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 how are hello. you? How you doing? What's going on? What's shaking? <laughs> Don't we sound like those? What it, I, I imagine like these these little um, mothers living in like Jersey or something. Hello, hello, hello. yeah. <laughs> How's it going? I'm here. <laughs> you're here. That's good. That's you're good. Here. Present. Yeah, you're here. It's it. I every time I think we start the the episode, we talk about oh, it's been a crazy week. I don't even know what day it is. When is things just going to settle down and chill out? It's spring. It's almost spring. Almost spring. Maybe that's when. You mm-hmm. think? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think so. so. I hope I would, so. I um. Uh, this week, everyone should be glad to know that I did not think of the uh, the podcast topic. <laughs> Come on, we so we got a note the, the as soon as the podcast went live, we got a note from Jen that said she was she got the notification the podcast was there and she was so excited to see that it was about Disney's California Adventure <laughs> because she loves that park and I was like, oh, don't oh, tell dear. Carrie. Or we're going to end up doing Disneyland episodes forever. Yeah. Yeah. I just think we shouldn't have been. We probably could have done a different <laughs> DCA episode not talking about the love it or leave it attractions where we were like, Mah. I think I think I think we did a fabulous show. <laughs> Yeah, I think Don't. we should have talked about all the other amazing things about DCA too in greater detail instead oh, of all the excellent. kitty rides that we don't want to go on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that one. No. Yeah. <laughs> but well, Cars Land's really cool. We'll do we'll do another one. And we'll we'll focus in on the food and the snacks. Maybe though we should do it after we've been to sure. Disney, right? Because then, then my memory will be fresh. Like right now, when I think about the food from Disneyland, I'm thinking about fried chicken. I'm thinking Amen. about Dole Whip swirl. I'm thinking about a churro and churro fries. Not it's in that order. Legit. Yeah. Notice there was no cupcake in there. Yeah. Cause... I don't even think I had a cupcake in Disneyland. It's just a, it's just an East Coast Disney thing for you. Maybe. It's just maybe maybe it's a different experience for sure. Hmm. Okay. Sure. So we did get a little feedback too on another episode of the podcast. You know, because we're always happy for ratings and reviews. But we also got a note online from Susan, who says, "I wanted to tell you, I'm not really a podcast person. My 17 year old is usually trying to get me to listen to different ones." Friday night when I got home from work, I decided to listen to the podcast about the Burn Bob Guides. You two had me laughing so hard. It's nice to hear two people who are definitely best friends laughing and having fun. I will absolutely be listening to more. Keep up the wonderful work. Oh, that's cool. (laughs) It was cool. So thank you, Susan. And you know what? I'm happy we could make you laugh. And and I didn't think that episode was particularly funny, (laughs) the Burn Bob Guides, but... We, you know what, we just... <laughs> I was kind of thinking the same thing. I guess we're, <laughs> we we're just have fun. And, we're funny and we don't know it. You're funny and you know it. But oh, we don't know it. We don't know it. You know what? <laughs> Something's happened to me in like the last year or so. I have a friend, Do you have friends like this? I have a friend at work. And whenever you say a line, whenever you say something to him that is a line in a song, all of a sudden he starts singing the song. So you have to be very careful if you say something and then because then he sings all the time. But I find myself doing it now that when I hear people say things and then then all of a sudden a song pops in my head and I have to sing a bit of it. Anyway, I I think I'm I'm probably that person in other people's lives, like maybe not always a song, but like I always have there's if somebody says something like I always have to say something back if there's something that just makes sense, like a pop culture reference or something and. 
I, you just, I did that today at work, and like the people did not know what I, like these younger people did not know oh, what I yes. was talking about. But well, I do that. I am the. I am your friend. That if something, if like I can't, like I, I have to. You know, like you tell a little kid to sit on their hands. It's like you got to tell me to zip it because, like, <laughs> if something comes up where there's like a pop culture reference, I could just slide in there. It, you're I doing it. I can't resist. And you're right. Resist. And then, depending on the age of the people you're talking to, sometimes they don't always get it. Yeah, today it was like something from like. Uh, tv ontario like tv ontario or or when we like sesame street when we were kids like and they didn't they didn't <laughs> yes they didn't get it but yeah. i i thought it was hilarious <laughs> if i had a dollar for every time i had to explain to people at work when i'm saying to them can you just give me the coles notes version like you know when they're going on and on and on i'm like just give me the coles notes and then i realized people don't know what the coles notes are because they don't need them anymore. Because we have this thing called the internet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyway, we we could we could about we should do an episode on that. All of the references to to pop culture that we use in our everyday lives. What do you think? Yeah. See, that's a good there's one. another. Like that. That's a good. I see, to, sometimes I need to think about it. We come up with these these crazy. Yeah, we need to think about it and 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 make note of them. So start making note whenever you use a reference in your day to day life. But today. Today, Today. Uh, on this episode of the podcast, yeah, you and I, you know what? We cannot just be the only joy holders. We <laughs> we have to share. <laughs> we have to share where we get other sources of joy from. So, who do we listen to to let into our ears uh, during the week? Podcasts that we like to listen to, um, and we thought, well, this would be fun. Why don't we talk about what we listen to? Instead of just people listening, maybe people will be, you know, listening and thinking, oh, I'd like to listen to these. Or they'll think, oh, honest to goodness, is this what these two do in their spare time? It's possible it could go either way, Carrie. <laughs> I would like, I would hope that the end of this is that in our Facebook group that people will tell us what they listen to so that we can have some more ideas of what to listen to. Yes, yes. That would be, I would like because new there's, ideas. Um, there's so many things to listen to and you kind of get in your little like stream of what you listen to and and there's only so many, you know, hours in the day or in the week to listen to podcasts, but you know, you can always switch it up if somebody tells you something different to listen to. Yeah. So I would love I hope this in the end we can get some suggestions of what other people listen to. That doesn't would have be, to be um, Disney. That well, and that's the thing. When we start talking about the podcasts that we listen to, I actually only have one or two that are Disney. Like one is Disney, the other one's sort of Disney adjacent. But other, <laughs> but otherwise, they're they're not Disney. Okay, so Carrie, why don't we just here we can we can babble on for days, Carrie. Yeah. Oh. Do you do you want to do you want to share your first podcast or do you want yeah. me to? Okay, go. I'll, I'll go first, I guess. And I maybe gotta... we should share. Where do you listen to podcasts? Where do you like? Do you listen on your phone through Google, through Amazon, through where do you listen? Through the Google Podcast Player. Okay. On my phone. Okay. And often I put in my wireless earbuds and I listen while I like do housework or when I'm cooking dinner. I usually put on something to listen to, and that's when I listen. Sometimes if nice. I was going on a lot before BC, before COVID, and I was like <laughs> going on long drives, I would listen yes. to uh, listen to some when I drive. But um, but that's, that's my favorite time to listen is when I'm driving. Yeah, I I just started to do it on long drives before COVID, and I was like, this is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't have to go on any long drives, to, like hour long <laughs> drives to anywhere. So I. Yeah. I haven't listened in the car. My now podcast listen listening's been suffering since I don't drive to work. I uh, I mostly in the car. Sometimes I'll put on um, my like because I have Sirius XM, which they have podcasts on there too, like Sirius XM yes. podcasts. But I I usually listen to the Disney Channel on the Sirius XM <laughs> at work. And when I leave work, because my I have an older car that like I can do Bluetooth to my car, but I can't like change the channels or whatever. So usually. <laughs> I leave I leave my office with I have playing it in, the, in my office I leave my office I like tuck the music I tuck it in my pocket my phone and the music's like blaring so like I'm doing my walk out of the office past all the cubicles with my Disney music blaring <laughs> heaven forbid someone stop me because I'm like I gotta get to my car because when I get to my car I just like press a button and it keeps playing so oh, okay that's what I that's what I but my, yeah my car is not smart enough to it's not a cool new car 
where so you I'm, can, <laughs> you know, select music or change your channels. I just like whatever's playing on my phone, like I connect it and, and then that's it starts it. to play. So, but my ride home's only a couple minutes. So yeah, I, can't I was going to say, what are you complaining about? You can bear, you couldn't get through a podcast on your drive. No, home. So that's why I listen to my Disney. I usually listen to my Disney music that I've you been get listening one or to my two songs in. Yeah, yeah, like 15 minutes is usually my drive home. So oh, a couple yeah. of songs. Yeah, that's anyway, rough. Okay. So my Anyways, first okay, podcast. Anyways, okay, so your first podcast. <laughs> See, oh, we go yeah. that way. Yeah, okay. My first podcast <laughs> is called Geek 4 Podcast. Geek. And I'm going to, sorry, so I'm going to link all of these in the show notes. Yes. But, sorry, so Geek 4, like number 4? or Number 4, yeah. It's okay. called Geek 4. Okay. And so this is the a podcast. It's a Canadian podcast, and it's my friend uh, Michael Boyce, Doctor Michael Boyce. He's one of my uh, dear friends from high school. We were buddies. We were we we were always up to shenanigans. Uh, you know, hanging out during her hanging out during um, like spares, and and we all were big groups of friends. We hung out together, but we always would, um, you know, at, at times we would um, like we volunteer to to do certain things like we were MCs of of our grad of our prom and we were MCs of like I think one time oh my gosh we I can have, so see this he, 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 he was always into like he was always into different things like he liked Monty Python and he liked he liked different types of humor that like most kids our age wouldn't even have known about so when we were younger he he probably schooled us all on certain types of pop culture and geeky things that he liked and okay. so all these years later he's got this podcast and that's exactly what he does on this podcast he is he brings on people that have um a fandom for whatever so it's not like it's it's not like our we have disney fandom he talks to people that have sci-fi fandom star wars oh people so that all love kinds buffy of the, stuff buffy the vampire slayer but like any like you love james bond you love like he had a lady on that that um like that even have like that have crafts that have turned into like severe fandoms or or some colleague and friend i think one of his friends from university like does ice sculptures in his front yard and like it's turned into an entire neighborhood like how cool like, is that like, so, but that's so it's not just like pop culture like geek and nerddom it's it's like whatever <laughs> you love is your whatever you're a geek for like it doesn't like that's and that's what like it's geek for so whatever you're a geek for and it could be that you you know you that's make awesome ice, you make ice sculptures in the winter because you live in winnipeg and it freezes and you can make ice sculptures that last all winter long and you make you make art in your front yard like that's what this person's <laughs> a geek for so whether you're a geek for you know a television show or a geek for a craft that you do like Whatever it is, he he finds people, and it's he's been across like everything That's from awesome. Star Trek to to whatever. Like I said, the like his friend that does ice art in his front yard. Like it's whatever you're a geek for, because sometimes you don't even as time goes on, you become that geek for this or that, right? Like, and you, you well, know, you, yeah, all of you a can sudden... find new things to be addicted to <laughs> <laughs> on this podcast. So yeah, so he's my friend. He's my pal cool. from he's 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 um my pal from high school, and we we still to this day when he he lives in Manitoba. When he comes to Ontario, we usually get all of our high school friends together. That's our reason for us to get together, Aww. and we meet up and and yeah. Now he's that's you know, so he's had fun. a podcast for the last year, and I listen to all of his episodes. I love listening to because it's like it's really cool to listen to your friend on a podcast, and I love it when he'll he'll talk. He's done a few episodes where he'll talk. A, about himself and his own fandom and i think i love those ones the most because it's really like sitting, it's really him it's really like yeah it's like because you know him and you and you hear a now, story was, and i'm like that's awesome was he crafting in the cafeteria and stuff like that in high school no 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 he was uh, he's, no. he actually no he was he loved film and he was usually like watching probably go we used to go to on um, spares go up to the blockbuster to rent because he loved <laughs> the movie so much so um <laughs> That's so yeah. fun, no, he wasn't, Carrie. No, he wasn't. I, he wasn't crafting in the. In I wasn't necessarily crafting in the. <laughs> but that's just the type of person I was. So, anyway, so that cool. was, that's okay, my so first that's one. Geek, the one that I want to give a shout out: Geek for Podcast. Podcasts. So they're short podcasts. Like he usually does. They're usually not longer than half an hour. So they're twenty to thirty minutes. They're absolutely perfect to listen to while you're washing your dishes or doing whatever, and you just scroll through and look for someone. Like uh, one of his guests that has a fandom that you're that you're interested, interested in, and, in. Give it, and give it a listen. Okay, that's great. I'm going to uh, I'll link. I will absolutely be linking to every one of these in the show notes. 
but that's a good one. I, You know what? It's funny. You've told me about him. You've told me about his podcast, but I don't think I really understood what he did on the podcast. So, yeah. I yeah, think at I the, might, at I the might, end of his podcast, I might need he, to he listen does to like him. a, he does a, he does a fast four or something where he's where he has you four questions like what was the very first thing you were a geek for or whatever so when you're all done he kind of puts you on the spot and does like a oh, like does a rapid you know, fire rapid That's fire it, it, <laughs> and then yeah they usually yeah usually they may tell stories or whatever but it's a rapid fire you have the four questions That's so that he fun asks you, so yeah, so I'd love if people took a listen. Yeah, well, see, and that's the other thing. At the end of this episode, not at the end of the episode, but in a couple of weeks after people have listened to the episode, if they've gone and listened to new podcasts that we've recommended, I'd love to hear what they think. Like, were we completely off the mark? Or are you like now in love with some new podcast because you heard about it here? That would be exactly. fun. <laughs> cool. Very cool. What about you? What's it, what's your podcast that you're doing? You know, it's it, so yours. Yours are always so cool, and mine oh. are just oh, yeah, yeah. So I think <laughs> so. One that I listen to, and it's so not exciting, but it's necessary. I find it in, in sight, exciting. Is uh, the feed? It's called the feed uh, from Libsyn. So if you don't know, <laughs> we host our podcast on Libsyn. That is the company that uh, we have our podcast hosted on. And they have a podcast where they talk about basically what's going on in the podcast community. Believe it or not, it's a whole community. They're <laughs> so Inter snore uh, sound effects now. <laughs> I could be on the Nerd Four podcast. Good thing I started with. Good thing I started with Mike's podcast. <laughs> it's so, Gary. This is how I find out how we do stuff. <laughs> so they they talk about different things where they've been, new equipment, microphones, um, how they advertise, what's going on in the community. It's it's kind of cool, but it's really it's a geeky podcast for podcasters is what it's for. And, uh, yeah, so I think uh, that's, yeah, so that, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's mine. It's called The Feed, if anybody's interested. I should if, probably add that to my list, I suppose. Well, well I, I fill you in on anything new in the community, but there oh, are, phew. there are actual events and I'm kind of, I'm really excited that after COVID is over and people start going back to in-person events, Carrie, there are podcast events where podcasters come together. Sometimes like they a have convention? Them, a convention. They have them sometimes in Florida. There's some in Nashville. Like, we need to go. We need to just show up and meet other podcasters. I think okay. that would be fun. I think it would be fun. And there's a whole group. There's like a subgroup called She Podcasts. And it's yeah. all the, the women podcasters. Uh I think it would be fun. I think we should go to a convention or something like I'll that. Go if they to have a convention one anywhere, I love yeah. to travel. So there you go. Like if they have one in Florida, we should just go. I'll go to one wherever. Or Nashville. Well, I quite like Nashville. Nashville. Maybe would we be could good. meet some cowboys while we're there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Next, we'll go. <laughs> we'll go to Carrie. Sometimes, you know what? It's fun when I can make you speechless. <laughs> okay oh, dear. all right carrie go okay. on okay well i have a couple of disney disney ones do you want maybe i should just yeah. kind of go through them like all together mm -hmm. since you don't have very many disney ones i okay. guess is that okay yeah yeah well yeah. i al i always talk about bobsleds and banthas and yes because i listen to them a lot they're just two uh best buddies that love Star Wars and love Disneyland and they giggle and talk and are funny about that. So I like to listen to them. Yes. Uh, uh, and I make you listen to them sometimes too. <laughs> you do? <laughs> and I do. I like, you know what? They're funny. They make me laugh. Um, they do. They're, and, they're... and you're right. Like you'll, you'll call me sometimes and say, Oh my gosh, Fran, like the, this episode, I just listened to this episode and they totally are the male versions of us. They, they're fun. They're funny like that. I think they truly are. They yeah. probably wouldn't like hearing that. No, probably not. <laughs> but they're like two best friends. Yeah. That met each other and as adults. Yeah. Just like us. And yeah. we're like, oh, my goodness, we should be best friends. And then they're like, 
oh, that was a really good <laughs> idea because we are best friends now. <laughs> and then they talk about, they don't talk about the stuff that we talk about, but like in their own way, what's important to them, they talk about it and giggle about it and are silly the same with each way. other. <laughs> the same way. Same way we are. Yeah. So I just okay. like them a lot. Anyway, so, so Bob Disney, Sleds and so Banthas. Bob Sleds and Banthas. Um, Disneyland for Designers is another Disneyland uh, podcast. And um, that one is... And like the guy that his name is, he calls himself Bricky, but his name is Mark Bricky. And he just, he, he just talks about Disneyland in a different perspective. Like, I think he's an artist and he was a designer. Like in the beginning, um, they had Jared Mariama was one of the co-hosts. Like, I don't know if he's on all the time, but he'll have rotating co-hosts, but it's people that are kind of in that, in that, in, in that, like in, in that industry or whatever. Industry. That design, yeah. Like they're that yeah. minded. Right. So artists. Yes. So I really, um, but they talk about Disneyland. They don't, they're talking about their love of Disneyland and their perspective and, and what, like they're, they're California people talking about Disneyland. Right. So it's not so much, um, maybe so, not so more opinionated and not so much like a fan site podcast. It's just different. So I really, I really enjoy, um, that podcast. And I watch him now on YouTube because he has a YouTube a video like a videos too so not podcast oh. but he does youtube so i've started to watch him there too like another thing on youtube for me like carrie how much yeah we got to do that whole episode we were gonna do about oh. your youtube channels so that's coming up we got to do that but you got to write them all down i know i know and then i like to watch um tdr like listen to tdr explorer like he's the the tokyo disneyland so he has a podcast so I, he has his very often i think shorter ones too so i like to listen to his podcast um and then i have a muppet one i like to listen to below the frame so those okay. are my like disney themed ones so below the frame is matt vogel the man that is kermit and big bird and he has a podcast and it's all about it's just he has different puppeteers and people in the muppet and puppet community so it's completely focused on on that artistry and that theme so those so are my if he's disney a podcaster ones. why don't you reach out to him to see if he wants to come on our podcast uh, I don't know. I just like to listen to his podcast. I'm really <laughs> excited about the latest episode. I'm gonna li- I'm gonna listen to it. Uh, it's got uh, some good. It's got that's awesome. Is that okay? So is that all your Disney podcasts? Those are like my big ones that I probably listen to the most frequently, okay. and that I subscribe to and I listen to the most. I do listen to well, like I like listening to um, like. The bunch of Disney ones, like I like, mm-hmm. I sometimes listen to, like some of the more popular ones, like Lou's podcast. I'll listen to, like I listen to bits of them here and in there. But I find for me a lot of like the fa- the Disney fan sites or di- the other, like I watch them on YouTube. So, so you don't listen to so their, I, so their I podcasts? Yeah, like as much. I would, I would watch, I would watch their videos on YouTube versus listening to them because right. If there's a video, if there's a video version, I've been, I, I would probably, I probably watch them more there. Yeah, I think, and I think sometimes with podcasts too, depending on the topics, I I subscribe to some, but I don't necessarily listen every week. So, you know, for people listening, I I get it that not every week you tune in or maybe that maybe there's a topic and you're kind of like, eh, don't want to hear it or or whatever or something. It's just not your week to listen. Um, So there are podcasts that I listen to sporadically, depending on the topics, uh, so Bob Suds and Banthas is, is one of them. Um, we like theme parks. I do listen to them uh, some sporadically, mm-hmm. depending on the topic. I'm not I'm not good with the um, when they're doing the competitions, like the trivia competitions. Like I can, for some reason, my brain can't absorb those. Um, but um, and of course, WDW Radio, like podcasting is podcasting because of Lou Mangello. Yeah, for um, sure. So I do he, listen to his too. Yeah, but he's like he's like the king. I knew he right? was on your list. <laughs> I knew he was on your list. Lou is the king of podcasting, and if you haven't heard, he's been on our podcast before. We geeked out. He nerd alert! Nerd alert! Nerd, nerd alert! alert. <laughs> See, nerd for you. That was us. You know, your friend could have followed us around at the D twenty three convention. Uh, when we, we saw Lou for. and what we geeked out at Lou and Elantris and, you know, just and oh, Josh tomorrow, uh, Matt Vogel. Yeah, pretty much. We just it was a weekend of geekdom for Carrie and friends. That's Fran. what fandom is about. Being a geek about every little thing yeah. that makes you that you're excited for. Wear it proud. Wear it proud. Mm -hmm. Um, So yes, Lou, of course, of course, of course. And then the other one um, that I had listened to, uh, which 
I actually think it's really good for parents. It's it's more for for parents. It's um, 1923 Main Street. So uh, we both know Mike and it's Mike and his daughter and they've been to Disney lots and lots and lots of times and um, they're fans like us and him and his daughter share their perspective on all things that are going on in Walt Disney World and it's just it's kind of fun to hear a kid's perspective on a podcast Mm -hmm. which is which is kind of fun. It is it is fun right it's it's, it's, I've listened to those (laughs) ones a few times too. Yeah, it's kind of, and they did travel during COVID and they had like this whole experience where oh they goodness. stayed, they stayed in the bungalows at the Polynesian. And just to hear his perspective during COVID versus her perspective of the the bungalows and, and not doing a lot of park time. It was so much fun. It was so much and fun. The, is her, her name's Amelia, right? At yes. The, his daughters. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. So that's my other Disney, Disney one. So we do listen to a few Disney ones. We do listen to a few Disney ones because we're we're like that. Okay. Okay, what else you got? I'm off my list. I like to listen to, and I got this one from our friend Susan, uh, the Pop Culture, Pop Culture Happy Hour. So there's an episode every single day, I believe. And it's just whatever is happening, like whatever's kind of hot to talk about. It's just a quick 30-minute oh. episode. So like... If it's Oscar time, they'll do something about Oscars. If like the, new Batman, the new Batman movie, it's it's through um, the NPR. So I think there's like I what think is the there's NPR? National Public Radio or whatever it's called. Like the oh, what do you okay. call it? The um, it's kind of like the TV Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean okay. now when I say I know, it's public I know access, I believe. You like, and your from public unless, access. Like, like, I think it's that's where it came from originally. Oh, okay. I don't know what it is now, but so like, is I it, think that's what NPR is. Is but it anyway, like the so same host every day or? There's a, I think there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of them. Like there's like four or five of them. And I think oh, okay. they may change a bit. Yeah. There's a, oh. there's a few of them. And then they pipe in and they talk about. They just, like I said, if, like the new Batman, if there's a new movie or something's like they talked about um, the Muppets when the Muppets, you know, were coming to the gene to Disney plus, like they, whatever is kind of happening. It's every uh, okay. single day and it's just a, it's just a, so it's something just to listen to, to kind of stay up with your pop culture and it's, <laughs> it's short and sweet and it's, and I like it. I like listening to it. So listen, and then that one's like, you know, you wouldn't, I don't listen every day, but I'll look to see what they're talking about. And I'm like, oh, I'll, listen, I'll, I'll usually queue up a couple of them. Like I'll look back and see what they're, what they talked about in the last little while and queue up a couple of them to listen to. But fun. But yeah. And like I think they just are like, just some, like just journalists or people like they, they're, I'm sure they're a lot younger. They're not a younger generation <laughs> talking about this pop culture. <laughs> <laughs> but well, we—I guess we should have told everybody at the top that most all of our podcasts are kind of positive and lighthearted. There's no sort of sad podcasts. Well, I've, <laughs> that I've we def- like, to. I've definitely over the years listened to like some of the true crime w- podcasts, but like I don't like I think the ones that I've listened to are ones that everybody's listened to. I'd have to like look back to see which ones. Like they're very entertaining. It's like re- it's like they're like having audiobooks right like you just follow along and and listen but but yeah i don't think that we we yeah. were going to talk about those types of podcasts there's all kinds no. of great series to listen to so um but that's a different non-pixie that's, dust that's not pixie dust no but that, well it's pixie dust not they're very enjoyable and entertaining yeah true they are. okay that's there's a true. big there's a podcast a big like series of podcasts on dolly parton it's quite entertaining yes Yes, I did listen to the podcasts on Dolly Parton. Uh, I love her. She's just awesome. So, so there's she's, a podcast. She's about incredible. It. There's a podcast about everything. Yes. But yeah, the pop culture happy hour is uh, is another one I like to listen to. So across oh, that one, cool, okay. very cool. Probably like everybody know. Maybe every like I didn't know about it till Susan told me, and I was like, well, that's kind of fun. But maybe that's one that like lots of people know about and listen. Well, it's funny. To. Like it, sometimes there are so many great podcasts out there, and if you listen to the feed, you do know though that there are a lot of podcasts that start and then they get like fatigue six weeks in, and a lot. It's something like eighty percent of podcasts that get started don't go longer than like three months. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's kind of insane when you hear the stats, which you know would be on the geeky podcast that I listen to. But it's yeah, so there's a lot of podcasts out there when you're searching through the apps and stuff like that. So 
I think it's hard for people to find the ones that they like. So it's good that we give recommendations and share what we like. Yeah. Okay, you're I did, up next. I know. I, and I was just realizing, like, I did used to listen to D23 Inside Disney, that podcast. And they, sw- so it's a Disney podcast and it's like official Disney. Um, but honestly, I don't, I don't love it anymore. Just, it just feels like a big commercial. In the beginning, it feel it felt like Disney fans having fun, chit-chatting, and they got to interview cool people. Now it just kind of feels like a scripted commercial, so I don't, I don't listen anymore. But, um, but, you know, like, if you want to hear from stars and stuff like, like, John Stamos ain't coming on our podcast, so if you want to hear from him, that's where <laughs> you'll find him. That <laughs> that's where you'll find him. Um, for me, I have a couple more that I listen to that are uh, non-Disney and, um, you know, just kind of a little bit on the, like more motivational business side. Uh, so I listen to, uh, just be with Bethany Frankel, uh, which is, <laughs> don't even laugh, Carrie's giggling, but so Bethany Frankel, real housewife, uh, made a name for herself and she's quite the philanthropist now. <laughs> And (laughs) whatever. Um, But she has, she's very outspoken, very straightforward. And she has some very cool guests on. Um, And she asks them questions that I want to hear the answers to. And like she had, she's very good friends with like people like Mark Cuban. And when she's asking them questions about how they built their business, what they think is important, how they live their lives you know, the secrets to their success, that kind of stuff. They're really fascinating if you listen to them. Um, So like Apollo Ono, like there's just, yeah. Anyway. What's it called? Uh What's that podcast called? It's called Just Be, like the letter B with Bethany. Just Be. With Bethany Frankel. Yeah. She's, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. The people that she would have, on her podcast and as she talks to them about their their business it's it's fascinating so yeah she's pretty cool and then the last one i listened to which is he's not very disney in terms of he curses like a trucker but um gary vaynerchuk so <laughs> <laughs> he, he is you know, he's the story of a guy that worked in his dad's liquor store for years and years and years, helped build this business throughout his 20s and 30s to like a multi-million dollar business with wine and wine library. And he did a YouTube channel and he went crazy. And then he walked away from it and he left it with his dad and he started his own business. And he does like advertising and marketing and you know, he's, he's definitely, he's a motivational speaker. He gives pep talks on all sorts of things. He was an early investor in, um, Instagram, Facebook, all of that kind of stuff. TikTok, he's been all over TikTok, but he's also such a practical and down to earth person. And he puts things in such great perspective when he's talking about his life that, um, I just, I find him fascinating. So, you know, he's had people on his podcast, like Charlie DeMillo. So she's one of the, she's like the young TikTok famous star. She's big on TikTok, took off when she was like 17. And when she first started taking off on TikTok, he had her on his podcast and she was asking him questions. How do I deal with the hate? How do I deal with the trolls? How do I deal with these people online? And his message to her was you you need to react to them with empathy because you have someone who's taking five minutes out of their day to watch your content and then spend another five minutes to sit down and write on your post something horrible what kind of life must they have and it's just it's such a different perspective like he's been on the drew barrymore show like he's everywhere and nowhere uh, and you know, he's, he's, he's just, he's fascinating. And his, his life goal right now is to buy the jets. I don't even know football. I don't even have anything to do with football whatsoever, but his ambition is to work up enough money to buy the jets. And wow. I'm so invested in seeing him do it. He probably will. <laughs> and he probably will. 
But if you ever get a chance, he's kind of like a, a truck driving version of Mel Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like he curses like a trooper, but he's so practical and honest. And yeah, I just think he's fantastic. So uh, that's the Gary V show. Um, and I will put a link in, in there. But you'll find oh, him on Instagram and, and yeah, I usually TikTok follow and, him on. Uh, I watch him on YouTube because I because you talked about like this Gary V, Gary V, Gary V, Gary V. <laughs> so you never <laughs> forgot to follow. Like I'm like, oh, I know his name's Gary V. I just gotta find him yeah. on YouTube and watch him. But yes, I like him too. He is. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Yeah, I love. Cool. I love when he's got um, like he'll have a room full of people and people are standing up and asking him questions and they're like Gary. What am I going to say to my parents? Like, they want me to go to university, and I just don't want to go to university, and they don't understand me. And Gary will say to them, you know, are you living in their house? Are you eating their food? It, it, then you go to university. If you don't want to go to university, get out of their house. <laughs> like, it's he's so fantastic. Yeah. So that's, that's my cool. other one that I listened to. Cool. Do you have any others or was that your list? Well, I like to listen to one that I listen to a lot now is Maya and Bialik's Breakdown. Maya so, and Bialik. Yeah. She's the, she's from the Big Bang Theory. Amy Fair Fowler, but also Blossom. <laughs> and Blossom. Yes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I never Blossom, watched Blossom. Beach, oh, I watched, I love Joey Lawrence. <laughs> of course. Yes, yes, yes. So, of course. Um, so yes, you were all over Blossom. And plus, they're they're in real life. They're my age, I believe. So you know, I right. felt they were. It was it was a show for me when I was at Blossom's <laughs> age because I was Blossom's age. Uh, and Beaches, she was the little girl in Beaches. She was in Beaches. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, so she's like a she's like a neuroscientist, whatever, right? So yes. she, um, she has a podcast where she she talks about mental health. So she brings on guests, like she brings on all kinds of celebrities, all kinds of other, like like. All kinds of people, lots of celebrities, people that have very interesting stories that you may, you know, whether they're suffering from mental health or some other, something else, but they talk through it and, and Maya, you know, they talk about their experience. She like pipes in from like the PhD neuroscientist, you know, and her experiences herself because she's, she's, she, you know, she's dealt with, you know, depression and anxiety and things like that. So it's, um, yeah, I just like it. I like listening. I like hearing other people's stories and hearing their perspectives on things and their and and the challenges they've had and how and how they've overcome them or how they've they've overcome them and then struggled some more and whatever and and just how how Maya talks about it and and you know she talks about it from her neuroscientist perspective, but it makes <laughs> sense too. Like she like she's really good at it, and she has a, par a podcast co-host that kind of they're kind of partners and. In crime on this and he kind of like it's her podcast but he's kind of there too so he so it's it's kind of interesting, interesting. yeah the, like i think i think i'd like that one too like just to hear people's stories and and have it's almost like short snippets of their life on yeah, a podcast like, and, episode and if you look if you look through like who's who um like every like all kinds of people that up on there so just go like scroll through and find someone you're interested in and listen to their story often like she she'll have like people that are she's worked with like youtubers like she'll mm -hmm. have you know all different types of like uh, all kinds of people that that right like, lots and lots and lots of episodes too like if you scroll through like Cle kelly clarkson she's had kelly clarkson i like her, her um and her mom goes on to her mom her mom's on some of the podcasts Aww. which is kind of cool but yeah take a scroll through and find someone that you might be interested in hearing what they gotta see and that's say. the thing you don't necessarily have to listen to every episode of all the podcasts you can go through and find ones topics people interviews that interest you yeah for sure wow oh that's a good one i'm gonna go look at hers yeah cool. and i listened to i've talked before like how i love to listen how i love to listen to smart list with bill with uh sean hayes and and um will arnett and jason bateman yes that's yes. sort of my Guilty Pleasure podcast where they just talk about silly things and <laughs> they're three celebrity men that giggle and tease and joke with each other. But same yes. thing, like you just, you never know. Some of the most interesting episodes I've listened to are people that I really didn't know anything about. And I, and, and the ones where I was excited to listen to, I'm like, meh. Yeah. So they Isn't usually it funny tell, how that happens? Yeah. They tell stories about their careers and their lives and, 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 you know, often they'll tell stuff you've never heard of or you didn't know about them and. And they're fun. And it's funny as heck because those three guys are funny. And heaven forbid, 
like another funny person be on there then there's four <laughs> funny people to listen to but um yeah and i list sometimes i listen to i'm not going to name them but sometimes i listen to french podcasts like you know learn to speak french because i took french all through school and um i still you know can't really speak french. oh my gosh <laughs> so sometimes i listen to language podcasts you know to you know, freshen up my... Katie, how do you... Uh, between this and your YouTube, how are you a functioning person? Well, I don't... Like, I when I... Because I, you you can multitask this stuff, though. You can put on a YouTube and then, like, work through stuff or, or do other stuff. Like, I can't do that. Mm, yeah, it's because I'm not... Like, I'm I'm just... The, the thing that I'm playing is just background. Like, I'm not gonna, like... Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's it's good that you can do that. Uh, I guess, but I listen. <laughs> often I'll listen to the French, like I'll listen to French, like before bed or something. Like if I'm, you know, then I hope I'll dream in French. I'll be conjugating oh. verbs in French. <laughs> Have you ever dreamt in French? No. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. But yeah, sometimes I do listen to it before I go to bed because whatever, you know, that's you know, a good it, idea. Doesn't hurt. You got to change it up. Like I listen to Disney. I listen to silly comedy. I listen to you know a lot of celebrity stuff. I just just depends you know, on your mood. Sometimes you just got to go back to school a little bit and listen yeah. to yeah. listen to the French guy talk on the. Well, sometimes it just depends on your mood and what are you feeling for. And sometimes you want to listen to something funny and conversational. And sometimes you just want to listen to people babble. Yeah, and, that's true. And feel like you're part of a conversation, but you don't have the pressure to participate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's another podcast that um, I occasionally tune into, and it's <laughs> you're gonna laugh, but it's uh, movie reviews that are done, and I can't even think of the name of it right now. Um, it's movie reviews that are done by um, <laughs> done by three of the stars of Coronation Street. <laughs> <laughs> so three three he, it's uh uh sofa cinema club is what they call oh it goodness. sofa cinema club and it's um it's it's three of the coronation street actors so if for anybody that watches it it's david his his brother um ben price and um the actor that plays craig and the three of them just watch movies and then critique them together and th they like it they truly like each other they truly like each other and they they just have fun together. And it's so like non-pressure kind of thing. And they just laugh and, and, and act stupid. <sighs> yeah. I, I never, I, I watch Corny. I think I tried to watch Coronation Street probably when I was like in high school, like hanging out with my friend Mike Boyce because he watches all that <laughs> different stuff. He didn't watch Coronation Street, but you know, like he's watching like yes. British comedies. He's like, I remember watching like Absolutely Fabulous. I really liked that oh show. My I gosh. would watch that. Absolutely Fabulous Ab is fantastic. Yeah, be, like, I, I remember watching it, but it was probably like, you know, Eddie. me trying to like get into the, get into the groove of, of watching different things. And I think I tried it back then and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but um, oh my gosh, I yeah, watch so it. So this that guy one. that does the podcast, uh, I remember watching it when he was about eight years old on Coronation Street is probably when I was started watching. Actually, I probably remember when David was even younger and he had a little rabbit and whatever. He's a grown man now with family and everything on the show. And yeah, so I've been watching forever. The and one thing I like about with like what you were saying about when you feel yeah, like sometimes you just don't feel like listening to something and you feel like listening to something else. And I think definitely like when when I go for long drives or like when I was flying, I would listen to those true crime podcasts or the Dolly Parton type series, like something like that, that, you know, like it gets your mind into a place where you can like listen and think and and really yes. enjoy it but like you know things that are lighter like listening to i always like i listen to bobsleds and banthas and i and i listen to smartless a lot when i'm cooking dinner like i'm just sitting there like i'm chopping i gotta pay attention to a little bit to what i'm doing but like i can seriously do what i need to do to make my dinner but kind of giggle and laugh and pay complete attention and listen to yes. what it's saying but like but not like you know it's just what i do at that time like there's definitely certain um times when you feel like in the for like i wouldn't listen to something that's going to make me laugh before i go to bed because then i would like i'll be i'll be laying You'll there be a and bit I'll, wired. Be, I'll be on episode 18 of the true <laughs> season three episode 18 of the true crime podcast and i haven't slept for days but you know listening to like french yes. language stuff kind of makes or like something shorter like the pop culture happy hour or whatever it's mm -hmm. called like the little snippets right because it's just yes. 
It's just you can be like, oh yeah, and and be done with it. So there's definitely so there's a podcast for every time in your every day, time every, every mood, every yeah, every occasion, mm-hmm. and hopefully we remain one of those occasions, <laughs> <laughs> which is the background noise that you're not paying well, you're attention dinner. to. Yes, so and that's the other thing. I'm always fascinated to hear how and when people listen to their podcasts and you know what are they doing so remember guys if you're listening probably did listen like you driving like i think i bet you like a lot of people listen on their commutes or they did before like whether they're commuting now yes driving cleaning walking running and walking i guess like we hear yeah it it would be neat to hear like the different places how yes take a picture post it on social tag us let us know we really want to hear. Mm-hmm. Okay, Carrie, have we covered all our podcasts? Have we talked their ears yeah, off again we prob- this week? Yeah, like, yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah. I want to hear, though. I, I, I want to hear if anybody listens to any of the ones that we've recommended and if what they think. Well, I want to hear what everybody else listens to, so. Yeah, me too. Me Make too. Sure you I'd love us. to hear some new ones. I want to oh. hear your list. Uh, that's one of my most favorite things when people tell me about podcasts. Put, what to what to listen to and then what to watch on netflix because i never know so i'm yeah. always like what let me load up my netflix you really like when they explain it to me and i'm like do i think i'll Karen? like that i open up the netflix and yep. then i add it to my watch list <laughs> right away because when i get home i'm not going to remember what the heck they told me no nor the podcast they told me to listen to so i usually like add it or subscribe right away so that i could listen to it later we've learned a lot from the from our listeners and in the community mm-hmm. so yeah can't wait all right, Carrie. Pixie dust. Pixie dust. What brought you some joy this week? Well, I can't remember what my pixie dust was last week. But anyways, my pixie you're, dust. You're pretty this... litter. You're, oh, you're my cat litter. litter. Yeah, yeah, the cat litter. Do you know? Okay, so true story. True story. Somebody was telling, it was my brother-in-law. And he was talking to me about his cat. And did you know that cat litter, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, actually, have you heard of this new cat litter? And then I go into this whole pretty lit and he's looking at me. He's you, you don't have a cat. How do you know this? I'm like, well, if you listen to my podcast, you would hear. So, you know what see, I find I when I talk to everybody to about the pretty litter? Cause I've been like, if I've told some people about it, like every, as soon as I start talking about it, like, I kind of assume, like, you would only know about it if you were, like, a cat person, right? Because whatever, it comes up on my Facebook feed, it comes up on my Instagram feed, and I've had some cat people tell me about it. So, like, I'll start telling people about it or talking to them about it and thinking, they're, like, they've never heard of it before because why, you know, maybe they're not crazy cat people like me. They don't have a come up on their feed. <laughs> um, and they say, oh, that's the, that's the Martha Stewart litter. Because Martha Stewart is like pressing it hard. Like she is, oh. she's definitely got an affiliate link or something because Mar- oh, everyone. I, did, I didn't know Martha Stewart's says, in Martha, on this. That's Martha Stewart's litter. Oh. And I'm like, I don't know that it's Martha Stewart's litter, but apparently or she's just she's, pushing it. She's pushing them the pretty litter. So yeah. I think that's so funny. Every time I mention, they're like, oh, that's the one that Martha Stewart talks about. <laughs> And I'm like, I guess. So now I don't even need to tell anybody because everybody See? on everybody on this planet knows about Pretty Litter, whether they have a cat or not, because Martha Stewart's pushing it. Oh my gosh! So anyway, well, I was I was telling somebody about it. So see, like I learn something too on the podcast every week. So go on, Carrie. Yeah. So what was your pixie, pixie dust this had, week? Um, uh, last night I went out for dinner with two of my colleagues that oh, nice. uh, I haven't seen forever because we have been. COVID did it? COVID did it? COVID did it? <laughs> and um, anyways, it was, um, and people I've worked with for many, 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 many years. And uh, so we went out for dinner and we're very, we've, we've always been very good friends and it was just reconnecting. And it, we were saying afterwards, like texting and flipping pictures back and forth and, and talking about our evening and saying like, it's amazing how you just connect with somebody you connect and it's just like time hasn't passed, even though lots of time has passed thanks to covid yes um but yeah we just chatted and had lots of fun and giggles and got caught up about what's going on and you know who's who's doing what and what's you know like we've got kids kids have grown up there my friend's daughter's uh. gonna is engaged and she was telling us all of the you know ca- catching us up on everything right like we were so out of touch and needed to be all put back into the loop so it was a really fun uh dinner and it was just a feel nice. good thing. It was nice to connect, and we need. And we said we're going to do it again, much, very, very soon, very, very soon Aww. again. So, That's nice. 
Now that we got all the catching up out of the the way. (laughs) Yes. Good. So, what's your pixie dust? My pixie dust uh, was I had posted something in our Facebook group uh, talking about lines from different movies, Disney movies, and someone said, you know, the line, Ohana means family, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, it's it's Lilo and Stitch. I've never seen it. And one one of the people in our group, and I know because like our friend Anna Stitch is her favorite, but one of the people in the group, uh, her son Sam, Stitch is his favorite. And she said to me, you know, Sam is going to be so heartbroken that you have not seen Lilo and Stitch. Like, wait till I tell him Pixie Dust fan hasn't seen Lilo. So then I was like, oh, that guilt. Okay, fine. I'm going to watch it. So, and I don't know what it is. For some reason, Stitch just always felt like cheeky, like not not well behaved or whatever. Anyway, so so I didn't like him. But then I, with an open mind, sat down to watch it. And can I tell you, it was a very cute movie. Yeah. <laughs> Have you, do you've seen it? Yeah, for sure. A few okay. Times. <laughs> like, I don't like watch it like a yeah. lot, but I've seen it a few times. Yeah, it was a really cute movie. And my sister really does not like Stitch. Uh, but she's never seen it. It's, it's similar oh my thing. Goodness. Similar thing. We just, he's just irritating when you don't know the whole story. So I sent he her a text cute, last though. night. When you watch the and movie, said, he's cute. Yeah, I sent her a text last night and said, I think you've been giving him a bad rap. Uh, it's, he's kind of cute. But it's funny he because is. I posted it today. Like I posted saying I watched it. And then I had another friend reach out to me and say, funny. I never let my kids watch that movie because I thought they were so badly behaved. I didn't want my kids to see (laughs) that. (laughs) So anyway, I really liked the movie. I I loved like the little story behind it and I thought it was cute. And I just loved Lilo. I actually think I loved Lilo more than Stitch because she was so dramatic and her love of Elvis And sure. she, she was just so dramatic that her life was over and she was just a little thing. It was so cute. So yeah, I probably was... would agree. I, but I just I like I think Stitch is cute, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, you, we get I think as being adults, seeing these Disney movies, we're like, yeah, we kind of write him off because we think he's just annoying. Little he's just bratty. Yeah. Blue th- whatever he is. And then and but yeah, when you watch it, he is he's adorable. Yeah, yeah he's pretty cute. And no wonder yeah. little kids love him, right? Like. Oh, now I totally get it. <laughs> I totally get it. So it was a good movie. So I'm very happy that, um, you know. Someone I... held you accountable for getting caught up on <laughs> your... actually watching Lilo and Stitch. So it was good. It was very That's good. Cool. Yeah, I saw cool. on your Instagram that you were watching it. And I'm like, what the heck is she doing? Like, I'm all like... <laughs> She's know. like she's got a little bit of time to herself and she's watched Lilo and, and she's Stitch. watching this. I know because honestly, I felt so bad when she's like, "Oh, Sam's not going to be ha- you know, wait till he hears that you haven't and seen it." And so I'm like, "Oh." Yeah, so I I had to watch it. And I'm glad I did. Yeah. Well, Carrie, this I think this was a good episode. <laughs> I think hopefully we shared some other sources of, you know, giggles, joy, happiness where people can go in and find some different kinds of entertainment other than us. And uh, yeah, but if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, please take a moment to go and leave us a rating and review. That would be very appreciated. And tell your family, your friends, whoever listens to podcasts in your life, let them know maybe about us. And if they, you know, if you think they might like us, (laughs) just... You know, sharing us online would be a help, too. Yeah. And then we'll say thank you. Thank you very much. (laughs) Exactly. All right. Till next time. (laughs) Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Pixie Dust Fan Podcast. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you're following us on your favorite podcast player so you'll get a new episode every week. And find us on social media, too. We'd love to hear from you. Till next time. Remember, you are never too old to be young. Chase your dreams and design your own happily ever after.